All right, well, let's uh, warm it up here, up and down. Let's just wave around, start to circulate the blood. Guess you get a lot of reading done. <laughs> You're not jogging, are you? Yep. You are? Yes. Oh, you must look like an Eskimo. No, I, I run all winter. <laughs> oh, my God. Be careful. Three more. One. And two. And three. Hold the arms up. And exhale. Humbly slide down the heart line. Let's just softly nestle the thumbs at the breastplate. Settle in with that pelvis into the earth you feel the weight of your body connected to the and rooted and grounded let's easy invite ourselves to cultivate an intimate relationship with the breath to be the breath breathe the breath and follow the breath to the, our yoga the yoga find that connection with the divine it's easy to befriend ourselves so that we can participate in our healing. I slide the hands down and shift the feet because I'm sure we've been stuck here for a while while we got over the fact that it was five. Is your knee okay, girl? There's some soft pillows, you know. Inhale, lift up. And let's just exhale off to the right side. Let's just roll and see how the range of motion goes. Let that right hand crawl towards the tailbone. Left hand be on the outside of the upper thigh, pressing down. Chest is up. Easy, swiveling the neck over the left shoulder, swiveling the head, gazing, equalizing the weight, feeling both sit bones into the earth. But in the breath be large, kind of creep into the wrinkles and creep into the areas of the body that are compressed and dry. Swivel the head back over the right shoulder. Breathe in and breathe out. And then easy slide the hands along the ground and reach out up and overhead, look up. And exhale, opening up that left shoulder. Exhale off to the left side. Pressing down on the left heel, the hand or on the fingers so that the spine can lengthen. Again, to create that opportunity for space between plumping up the little discs. Swivel the head over the right shoulder. Large breath, lifted chest, exhaling strong and forcefully, so that inhale becomes buoyant and abundant. Uh oh, there you go. And exhale and easy, silver the head back over the left shoulder, breathe in, breathe out. And slide the hands along the ground and inhale, reach out up and overhead. Exhale into happy cactus, lift up, squeeze the back elbows together, flip the hands just at the wrist a little bit and swing the elbows slightly forward so the whole chest swivels up towards the sky. Neck is long, don't let the head compress and squish the back of the neck, but Keep that clear channel between the lower nostrils and the back of the throat into the lungs. Exaggerating the breath again, clearly drawing elbows up a little more and squeeze back a little more, Fred. Uh-huh, and then lift up a little more. And then easy, center back into the straight spine and let the hands roll around behind you. Carefully rotate the shoulders and grab the hands, grab the hands, twine the fingers, roll the shoulders, hands are off. Good job. Roll the shoulders, lift the chin a little bit more. Happy to, you don't have to look down at the icy ground, Fred. You get to <laughs> look up at the snowflakes. 
Squeeze the elbows together, stretch across the chest, breathe in, breathe out. Big breath. Good, let's warm it up. And easy. Lift the head back, lower the arms, and release the hands, let come back out up and overhead. And humbly slide down the heart line. Three breaths, breathing in, breathing out. Thumbs at the breastplate. And then easy slide the hands out on the inside of the knees. Thrust the chest forward and round back. Thrust the chest forward and round back. If you don't feel it in your hip socket, then is that where we're all feeling it? Yes, hello, everybody. Yes, are you not? Do you feel it in your hip, Fred? Yep. Yep. He's so happy about everything. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> five degrees <laughs> chest is forward and chest is back good careful your knee one more come back into the center shift the feet so I said heel heel crotch or sit in whatever comfortable way so that you have the same effect on the foot that's crossed in front, hands on the thigh, on the knees. Inhale, thrust forward. Oh, yes. Ah, one side's more favored than the other, correct? How is it, Brenda, on your favorite hip? Okay. <laughs> I can feel it in my back. Good. Ah, breath is helping. Ah. Really reach way far forward after all that pruning. <laughs> it's been pruning. <laughs> so we feel our height. And then easy. Come back into the center and pull the hands to the outside of the thighs. Pull the legs together. Put them in parallel, inhale, lift up, and exhale, nose to the knees, hug in tiny, nose to the knees, forehead, hug the knees in tiny, breathe in so you can feel your stomach, yes? Ah, remove that, the Cheeto area right into the thighs. Wrap your arms a little tighter around your knees, Fred, so you can hold the elbows, that's good, squish down. We're circulating and flushing, flushing the organs. One more. And easy, sit up easy and open the legs out. Good, who is it? It has a little nip in the inside of their knee. Really, literally, Grab the inside, that little extra muffin or little roll inside the knee. There's kind of an area you can actually grab. Even you have some, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have that whole area that's irritated usually. <laughs> well, it just reminds it's something you can grab. And then work up there in the inner area. <sighs> oh, I hear them. Or is that your, Dana? What's that? Oh, she has a motorized. Oh, it's like a sex toy. <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's got this. <laughs> You'll have to. What is it? It's a laser gun? Massage. Massage gun. Oh, well, that's the same thing. <laughs> so easy. Go down on your calves to squeeze to try and put some blood circulation in the surface of the skin of your legs. And let's go through that lower gut area. The more you sit, 
whether you fly in a plane, watch the TV, work on your computer or slouch in the couch, this whole, this whole area of our engine just gets squished and compressed. We want the no blood clots come around to the kidneys. I have a roommate. She's a, I mean, she's a, yeah, she's a renter roommate. She's a cardiac sonographer. And she talks about how the blood gets thick because it settles in. So we have to keep it circulating, which I always believe anyway. She just has the massager like Dana. <laughs> this here. Keep your chin up, Freddie. It's all that running in the ice. You got to keep up with your chest so that everything is perky and tingly. Yep. Shake out the hands. Go up to your gorgeous bald knobber and your hair. Really use your fingers really strong. See if you can move the skin on your skull. It should, if you have a lot of stress, your skin won't be loose. And then easy, a little rub in the center of your forehead and a little poke around in the soft spot of the newborn. And then we shake it out, draw the legs in, push the legs out and point the toes. Strong legs, so you can almost lift yourself up, pull the legs in. Good, pull the legs in. And then when you push the legs out, open them a little wider, point the toes, lift your buns up and down, and then come forward. And just kind of sway around wherever your hands, Judith loose as a goose. That's good, that's good. Guess we need one of those massagers. <laughs> and walk back in. That's good. Can you reach out, Fred, straight both arms? <laughs> Grab the nab of your carpet. <laughs> and then walk your hands back in. Easy. Take the arms overhead. Exhale. Take the arms overhead. And exhale. Take the arms overhead. And exhale. Take the arms overhead. Stay up. Separate. Lift up. And off to the right side. Just pulse. It's so nice to have an excuse to stretch. And not have, you know, like once you make that commitment to get to class or to get on the Zoom, you don't have a choice and you're here. Easy. It's hard to do it on your own. Happy cactus. Sway at the waist. Really feel the waist being massaged. Ah, good. And then come back into the center. Sweep your arms overhead. Let's go ahead off to the left side. Try not to get behind your hip. Try and let that left hand be a little closer, a little more in the front. Lift your chin, Fred, and look at your crease of your elbow. There it is. <laughs> Perfect position. Good, and then easy. Lift on up, arms up and overhead. Come back behind you, elbows in, lift up, point the toes. Strong legs, see if you can engage your thighs, yes? And then lower down, easy. Take that right, I like this song. Bring that left leg in front and curl that right leg on top. Curl, that's not really what I meant. <laughs> fling, fling the right leg over the left. Ah. You know who meant to say hello to you was Arlette that used to do our website. Yeah, and she said it's her daughter that looks so much like you. She's always wanted her daughter to meet you. I said, well, have her come to class on Wednesdays. Yeah. yeah. How's the daughter? Ha. Uh, no, she's 
mature adult married. Your long lost sister. <laughs> Hold the thigh in there. Sit strong in that right bun bone. Get that bone down on the ground. Sit up nice and straight. Hug the thigh. And easy. Now when you reach out, reach with the right shoulder. Really stretch forward like you wanted to touch your toes. Can you touch your toes? Really good, Robert. That's great. And then reach up with the right hand. Did you reach up with the right hand? Hold that right thigh in at the waist and arc back. And then as you open across your chest, let the spider fingers find the ground, crawl around and hug that elbow, the left elbow around the thigh. You might, ah, that's good. Sit a little heavier in the right thigh, Fred. Good, lift the chest. Nice, Brenda, breathing. Hold it close. I haven't listened to this CD in so long. This is like... Let that right hand come around. Hug it in. Lift up. Take the left hand. Go down on the ground so you're open. See if you can line up your shoulders with your straight left leg. Lift the chest. Bring that hand on the inside of your thigh, Fred. The, the right elbow on the inside. Uh-huh. And push it back. Push it back towards the wall. Exactly. And lift up. Your whole body lift up. Your chest up. Sit more. Uh-huh. There you go. Now, easy bend over. Go ahead and bend down. Digestion, complexion, flushing, manufacturing, feeding. Inhale back up. Unhook the leg and straighten it up. <coughs> Lift up. Exhale. Bounce a little side to side. And then walk back on in, pull that left leg in, tuck it across the top of the right thigh. Good, don't try and stay kind of even, baby. That's good, that's good. Foot is on the ground. Oh, lift the chest. That was a good reaction. Yeah, you're the best at turbans. The best I know. Always. And you look gorgeous in turbans. Yeah, I need I need turbans. <laughs> Not turbines. Turban. Yeah, I know I need that. Your skin looks great. Lift up easy. Breathe in, breathe out. Loosen the job. And then stretch out. Reach forward with the left arm first. See if you can get out there near the toes. Tuck that knee into the chest. Good. And then here we go. Inhale. Reach up. Let your gaze follow the fingers. And then open that left shoulder. And let the hand float down and crawl with spider fingers near your tailbone. Take the right elbow around the knee and hug that thigh right into your waist. That's good. That's good. Keep pressing on that left foot. That'll be down there. Oh, good. Nice, Dana. Yes. Yeah. She has her hair in a little bun. Breathe in, breathe out. Good. 
That's good. Hug it in. Large breath, exaggerated breath, the filling of the lungs. You can spiral and swivel the, rat, the head over the shoulder and look over your right shoulder. Just creating that movement of not only the synovial fluid, of your prana, of your breath, your oxygen, circulating and stimulating the flow of blood to the body. Hugging it in, breathing in, breathing out, eyes open wide. Look way into the edge of the sockets over that left shoulder. Breathing in, breathing out. And then easy. Start at your base, both sit bones. Unspiral, let the left arm wrap around the, the knee and let the right arm slide back off the right hip bone. Lift the chest up. You can get chin up, Baba. That's you, five degrees. Baba. Frigid. Lift the chest. I wouldn't know what to do in five degrees. Not anymore. And then easy, bow down, bow down. Ah, <laughs> what was that? And easy, lift on back up, unhook the leg, stretch the legs out, readjust the weight distribution on your sit bones, pull the Extra skin back, stretch the legs out nice and long. Inhale, lift up, exhale, bow down, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Good. A little further, go to your ankles. Hold your ankles. And then there's like this cook spaghetti girls, Judith, Dana, Brenda. I know. And this one's like it too. People's four knees. And then walk your hands back on in. Easy. Step the feet in and roll over into child's pose. It's just invert. It seems like it's cleansing is needed, you know? Big toes together. Knees apart, body surrenders down in between the thighs. Ah, is the operative word. That surrendering of the torso in between the thighs. You can put the palms together and find a prayer pose. And easy, send some prayers out for everything. There's just unlimited tragedies that we can pray about where people's hearts are affected, that pain of loss and that pain of unnecessary aggression. All we can do is breathe soothing. Circulation in the spine, circulation to the pineal gland, the vertebra begin to soften. The belly softens, the inner thighs soft, soften. Hari Om. Good, and then open up the hands and dig the fingertips in, lift the elbows and the wrists and shimmy and shake. And then lay the hands down and jump up on into all fours. Let's just spin the hips around, seeing how we've mobilized, mobilized the synovial fluid. A 
and then coming into that old fashioned cat and cow, that articulation of the tailbone and that sliding of the chest forward, shoulders back right there, Fred. And then, uh -huh, and then round. Good job. And then easy. Let's go through that similar place where we can stretch the left leg out behind us. Uh, left leg stretches nice and long, shoulders back, toes are curled under, heels of the hands, the arms become very strong. You can feel it all across your chest. If your shoulders are driven down and the elbow creases squeeze inwards and the fingertips are involved. And now just hinge forward so the shoulders over the hands, left leg lifts up and exhale, nose to knee. Inhale, kick back. Exhale, nose to knee and kick back. Nose to knee and kick back. Six more. <sighs> Make sure you feel it through your back. Get the nose to the knee all the way. Good. And then easy. Leave that leg back there floating in the ground. <laughs> and then swing it off to the side. Roll the foot down onto the ground. Okay, careful of the bed frame, Fred. Pull your toes, curler. I mean, cur curler. <laughs> Get your curlers on your bald number. Now bring the toes closer, a little more so they're directly off your hip. Good, then the foot is engaged. And easy, you're going to float that left arm up to the sky. Let your gaze follow. Stack your shoulders. Now look down, and if your chin runs into your knobby shoulder, Adjust that shoulder, roll that ball back into the socket, press on the right hand and give space. Beautiful. And then easy, lower that arm back down, lift the leg up three times. Uh, two, keep your head up. Careful of the bed, baby. <laughs> His, his foot's underneath the bed frame. Going to break your runner's ankle. And easy. Now spin around all the way to the other side. I don't know how to adjust. Good. Lift up over the shoulder. Look over your right shoulder and see if you can see your foot, your heel. And then easy, float the leg back behind, directly off the left hip, and let your right arm be engaged. Float your right arm up. Don't forget to move your leg, Brenda. And then easy, if you're in the mood <laughs> with your new hairdo, go ahead and grab that ankle. Lift your chest up, breathe, kick the foot into the ankle. Um, the foot into the hand. Good job. Hold on, Dana. Don't overstretch. Higher in the thigh and keep the hip, the knee back in a little more. That's it. The foot kicks back. Pressing that left thumb so that you have that left armpit engaged. And then release and lower down. Shake and wag your tail. You can spin it around a couple times. And easy. Let's just go right into the other side today. Fix your hands lovely underneath your shoulders. Stick that right foot back. Drop the toes. Press on the heel of the hands. Pull the stomach in. You feel it in your calf? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, that's good. 
I don't know if Miss Cook Spaghetti feels it or not. Miss Juju Bell. <laughs> and then easy. Hinge on forward. Let the leg float up. Find yourself organized. Breathe in, breathe out, nose to knee, nine times. Really curl it in there and then just kick it and curl it in and kick it. So you feel it between your shoulder blades. Good. All the way in. Good. And kick it up a little higher above the bedside table, Fred. Ah, that's better. <laughs> He should. He has the littlest areas like this. Keep going. Two more, baby. Lift your head up. Look up and smile for candid camera. <laughs> and hold that leg out there. And then easy. Take it off to the... Directly off your hip. Oh, that's good. Good, easy, roll the foot so the little toe, that blade line, float that right arm up so it floats up over your shoulder. Stack the shoulders, squeeze the wings. A little more, Robert. That's it. Breathe in, breathe in. It's your favorite side. It's the hair dryer side. No, it's the comb side. Yeah. Breathing. That looks great. Lower that right hand down. Three times, lift the leg. Careful of the wall. Oh, nice. Little high. <laughs> lift it up, swing it around, off. Good. And when you lift up and look here, really stretch that leg. Look over your left shoulder. Now, over the top of the shoulder, Fred. A little more up. Breathe. That's it. Watch your right. What happened to your thumbs? <laughs> You're doing the rough and the doll. Breathing in, breathing out, and then pull the leg back behind you. Stretch out that left arm. Left arm and grab your ankle. And then lift your head, lift your chest. Good, press in the right armpit, good, nice. Check your elbow crease. A little higher, what happened, Robert? <laughs> Kick that foot away, breathing, and nice. There you go, girls. Release, and lower down, and again, shake it out. And then sit back in traditional child's pose. Sit back with your knees together and your arms can slide back by your heels and your shoulders roll over your knees. A very compressed and strong child's pose. Breathing in, breathing out. By now you should be a bit warmer. There should be an increase in the circulation, that squeezing effect so that the blood becomes lighter and refreshed. And you can imagine it being more cranberry colored, more garnet colored, fresh and lively, circulating, flushing. And now easy, take your hands out long in front of you and dig your fingertips into the ground. Lift your palms up and lift your wrists and elbows and sit strongly, gluing your hamstrings and your tailbone to your heels. You're gonna march off to your right side. Let the right hand slide back and let that left arm be straight and reach through the elbow, reach through the shoulder girdle, wrist your arm. Just dig your toe, your fingers in, your fingertips. That's good, spider fingers. Lift and feel that heaviness in your left hip. Yes or no? 
Yes, you feel it across the, the ribs, the upper ribs, and that whole shoulder girdle and out towards your elbow. Good. Mitchy, march around. This It's kind of a passive position, right? Pull your stomach in. Hello. Slip across. Stretch the right arm. Wrist is off. Go down low, a little lower, Fred. Good. And then breathe. That's a good modification, Brenda. Yeah. Breathe. And Mitchy March back into the center. Easy. Lower the hands down. Inhale up onto all fours. Lower the heels, I mean, lower the toes. Let your buns go back towards your heels. And you're easy, just going to slide like a little worm. You're going to inhale, lift the chest, lower the chest, slide forward, flatten the feet, and come into an easy sphinx. Pulling back in the elbows, pulling the chest forward. Look over the shoulder towards your heels. Look up way over the shoulder. Bring your chest up a little higher, Fred. More, 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 more. <laughs> and look the other side. You want to feel that compression in your lower back at that ability to widen through the upper back and stimulate through the lower. Come back into the center. Easy. Pull the legs together. Lower the bosoms down. Stretch the arms back behind you. You can twine the fingers if you want and lift the chest and the head up. Good. There she is. 40 degrees there. <laughs> We're freezing. We're 81. Lift your <laughs> little higher, Fred. What happened? Don't let the cold get you. Roll your wing bones into each other. Stretch your arms, Robert. Good job. Lift and easy. Roll on down and go ahead and cross your arms and turn one cheek and rest on your forearms. Let your heels drop out. Breathe. Ah. Let the heels drop open so that the legs relax. And then easy cross the arms the other way and turn your other cheek. And just rest, rest with the earth. Rest. Be amazed at the circulation. Breathe in, breathe out. Easy, come back into the center. And easy. Go ahead and lift yourself up. Let your right arm come across the front of you so that the shoulder is under is lined up with the elbow and the left hand is going to stretch back towards your left ankle and you're going to see about it ah. oh good oh good job breathe oh you're so good 
She's such a loose goose, always. Ah, cramping, chest stand on your hamstring. Good, lift your head up a little bit, Fred. Get all excited about it. Slide your uh, right hand a little closer underneath your chest. And then lift that thigh up if you can. <laughs> Breathing? Yeah. Crying? Yes. <laughs> and then release the leg. Roll the hips side to side. Okay, I'll come on the other one. I can stand on it too, which is really what I like to. How is it, Fred? Good. Are you cramping from the? A little bit. A little bit. Not much. Okay. So the other arm, make sure that the arm is like this, Fred. That the arm elbow is right underneath the shoulder so that you can put some weight on that forearm and get your chest up. So as the left arm comes in and the other leg comes folding in, right? Good. So good, Judith. Thank you. Really? And you've always had the... I know, but I lost it for a long time, so I've been working at getting it back. Well, you've been regular now in yoga for a while. I mean, I don't know what you do at home, but you've been showing up, so paying attention, and your body responds. I just took a few first. I injured myself, my knee, my shoulder, but I'm back. I'm yeah, it's happy to have the action. Walking every day and hiking the hills, and then coming here. Jesus, I haven't hiked in forever. <laughs> Are you breathing, Robert? Uh, <laughs> now I am. Uh, <laughs> lift your head, lift your thigh. Ah, good. Breathing. Good job. And down you go. And easy. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders. <laughs> Hands underneath the shoulders, the elbows are up and in. Curl the toes. We're going to give the curl the toes under so the legs are straight. You're going to give an inhale and exhale into, into plank. Inhale, exhale. And then some little push ups. Da da da, da da da, da da da. Keep your head in line with your spine. Three more. Now hinge into down dog. Ah, it's so easy when it's like that. There you are, easy. Shake out your head. Press on your forefinger and thumb. Elongate the spine, heavy in the heels. And then that right leg floats up to the sky and opens up into fire hydrant. Good, and then lower it down and lift the other leg up. Lift the other leg up, knee is high, knee is high, darling. Forefinger and thumb pressing. Feel that stretch exactly right out of the hip, right in the lower ribs, yes or no? Yes. Peebles, how is it? Where'd it go? Up. <laughs> And then easy, lower it back down, inhale into plank. Keep your head in line with the spine. Exhale into down dog. Hinging, inhale into plank. Exhale into down dog. Inhale into plank, lower yourself down somehow, happily. Elbows are up, feet are flat. Inhale into up dog, easy. And roll over your feet into down dog, three breaths, breathing. Find yourself solid, enjoying that relief of the valves and the heart, the feeding in the brain, the heaviness and openness in your legs. One more breath. 
and then easy, lower the knees down, cross the ankles, and come sitting. <sighs> sitting. Now you took your socks off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I missed part of that. <laughs> okay. Good. Breathe. Are you sweating? Yes. He's sweating and it's five degrees. <laughs> I'm amazed. Anyway, good job. Good. I'm glad you're sweating. <laughs> oh, Canada. Oh, Canada. <laughs> Easy, let's just sit softly. You girls are all right? Good, alternate nostril breathing today. Just easy. Just pulling yourself into, we moved to a new moon in a couple of days. I don't know if I'll see you in between them and the 25th. Eclipse, eclipse. And the eclipse. And it's just been so much energy. You know, once you begin to, allow that other things influence you all you need to do that has ever made sense to me is that the tide the moon is full the tides are high the moon is new the tides are high and the tides are extremely low so that has to do with the fluid mobilization in our own bodies and then every other thing you can blame on <laughs> astrology or, or the effect of the planets or gravity and and your receptivity to energetic changes. We just had the Orionids, which is the dust and the tail of Halley's Comet 75 years ago, 76 years ago. So for the eclipse, you know, things will shift and things will change. It always allows us to look in. So let's take the right thumb on the outside of the right nostril and the forefinger on the left nostril, the ring finger, and in between the two fingers in the center of the forehead or below the nose. You can support the right elbow if you need to. You can exhale through both nostrils and start off with a rhythm of drawing in through the left nostril, breathing in, om one, om two, om three, pausing full and exhale through the right nostril, om one, om two, om three, pausing with the empty breath. Then draw the right nostril breath in one, om two, fill the lungs to the throat, hold and pause, and exhale left, om one, om two, om three, empty breath. Inhale left, om two, om three, expansion. Exhale right, om two, om three, and empty. Breathe in right. Hold the breath full, absorb, and exhale left one, om two, om three. Hold the breath, flat belly out. Breathe in left, om two, om three. Full breath, expanded ribs. Exhale right, om one, om two, om three. Hold. Breathe in right, om two, om three. Exhale left, om two, om three. Draw in left, om two, om three. Exhale right, two, empty three, empty breath. Draw in right. Hold the breath full, expansive, absorbing. Exhale, left, two, and empty. One count each breath. Breathe in, left. Hold it. Empty, right. Breathe in, right. Hold. Exhale, left. With force. Draw in full. All the way to the throat. Breath is full. Exhale, left. Empty. 
Breathe in, left. Exhale, right. Now continue on for a few moments at your own rhythm, at your own pace, at your own fullness, just pausing at the full breath and pausing at the empty breath. Feel as if you are breathing into the marrow of your bones, pulling that oxygen in. You'll feel a relationship with your heart, that movement of the ribs, massaging the organs, circulating, flushing, feeding. The buoyancy, practicing that breath like the free divers. Free divers swallow the breath. It becomes that they can hold their breath for five minutes, 200 more feet. Crazy. Just want the body to absorb the oxygen, to refresh. One more round. And then easy when you're finished, you're going to reach the arms out. Thumbs are going to touch up and overhead. Breathe in. Breathe in a little more breath. Hold the breath. Contract the gentle stretch and swallow. Again, forcing the absorption. Sip in a little bit of extra breath through the mouth. Hold the breath, swallow, stretch, absorb. And easy and humbly slide down the heart line, pause at the breastplate. And then easy, let the hands rest on the knees or in your lap, close your eyes, roll your tongue up to the roof of the mouth or behind the upper teeth. Relax the shoulders, keep the chest and heart open, the brow unfurrowed, and just meander around in that interior landscape. For yourself, notice the subtle changes, what happens, how it works. <laughs> Allow yourself to be subtly and transported somewhere. Take the arms out, up and overhead, slide on down. Grab the knees, fold in, softly roll down onto your backs. Tuck the knees into the chest and let the hands roll on each of your kneecaps. Easy. Just loosening up those hip sockets. And then dropping the knees into happy baby. The dropping the knees into the armpits, grabbing the outside of the feet, soles of the feet to the sky that little toe line, that blade. If you're able to really get your hands on your feet, you can take your thumbs and rub along the arroyos or those little creases in between the tendons of your feet. Those are the lymphatics. That's kind of where stuff pools and sloshes and gets filtered. That's why you get those chubby little ankles every once in a while. <laughs> those chubby little calves and then rock a little bit so you massage the kidneys and release any 
kind of stress you might have created in your lower back. Ah, take that sigh. Why is it my Judith sighing? Thank you. <laughs> the sigh and the cry, they're both very similar words, different letters, but have to do with the exhale of stress and breath. Take the inside hands on the inside of the calves and stretch the legs wide open into the honey, I'm home. You can hook the big toes or you can hold the inside of the thighs. Just letting the weight of your hands stretch the legs. Rolling the hips side to side. I mean, no, rolling the feet in a clockwise. I don't know what I was thinking. Rolling the feet clockwise, tracing the face of the analog clock, keeping the chin and the back of the skull on the ground, not to over arch, but keep that spine in line. And then take the hands to the outside of the calves or the thighs and press the legs together. And just see if you can be in this position for a moment, if you wish to drop the feet and lift the hips and scoot your arms underneath. So you have little fists and your biceps roll underneath the body, stretch the soles of the feet to the sky, try and keep the midline touching so that the inner big toe, the ankle bones, maybe the calves sort of, but the inner knees stretching towards the sky, reversing that flow again. Breathing easy. I wanted to show you our sweet lady. Breathing long, easy. If you begin to tremble, remember the trembling is fine. The trembling is the nervous system becoming reorganized. Allowing yourself every opportunity. Breath in, breath out. Very good. Pull the legs about three inches towards the camera, Fred. That's it. That's it. Now engage the abs. Legs together, though. Those suntan legs, pull them together. <laughs> what are you doing, Dana? Are you keeping your lower back organized, girl? Three breaths. Good job. And then bend the knees so the feet land down on the ground and easy, depending on what position you just were in, whether you were in a small shoulder stand or not, just try and find yourself in fish pose. So the arms go by your side. You lift your head up and look at your feet and you press on your elbows and kind of adjust yourself so that your chest is up and then you can arc your head towards the ground, keeping the chest as high as possible. Jaws loose, trying to get your crown on the ground. <sighs> Breathing this vulnerable position, this position, the king of poses, viscera are exposed, rooted through your crown chakra into the earth. Now exhale kind of strong for nine breaths. Use your belly. X, 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 X. Inhale and tuck your chin in and exhale, lay down on your back. Easy, flip your hands over. 
and go ahead and find yourself easy in Shavasana, any place that's still resonating with tension, just breathe and let that dissipate. Oops, hard to cough. There it is, easy. Let those temple bells float, put you at the top of the Himalayas with the fluttering Tibetan prayer flags. The wind takes the prayers from the flags and blows it around the planet. So the fluttering becomes so intriguing. Soften your eyes deep into the sockets. Let your lips get plump and your face smooth. Easy. That invitation to self. Inner thighs are relaxed. Ah. <sighs> yourself just easy, relax and rebalance, restore and renew, recharge, release, refresh. The ability to witness, to gaze inwards, to simply observe, not try to change or direct, but simply observe. There's that hollowness to the body, that breathability of the skin. that seamless quality to your vessel comes a transient decoration. Just enveloping yourself in that sweet honey-like nectar of the gods that amrit, that golden honey of the honeybees that soothes and heals and smooths. No sharp edges, no cuts, bruises, scrapes, incisions, smooth honey. body naturally rebalances itself.
Hmm. Easy. Just softly and slowly noticing how sweetly you rest, how at ease you are, how trusting you are in your own sense of self, of your vessel. As you re-enter and re-inhabit the vessel, let's breathe into the navel point, drawing the breath large into the belly and expanding through the entire body so that you can feel your fingertips wake up and your toes and slide your thumbs across your fingertips. Reconnect with the nervous system. Inhale, exhale, hands to the heart. Mm, just gather in all that love, that light, that joy and abundance that ability to participate in the healing and well-being of the planet planet and the folks that inhabit it. Twine your fingers, lace your fingers, roll the arms up and overhead, palms away from the crown, step the straight legs together, flutter your eyelashes, move your lips, inhale, wow. Exhale, draw in and give yourself a hug. And roll off to either side you wish. And then press up to a seated position that's comfortable for you. Easy, again, acknowledging your rootedness, the earthboundedness, that seatedness, rootedness, that part of the earth from the wing bones out through the fingertips, inhale. Gaze upwards as you reach to the heavens. Press the hands together like an arrow. Open up the fingers and keep the baby finger and thumbs so the fingers burst open like the flowers, the lotus blossom. Slide the petals actually, slide on down the heart line with that cup, your chalice receiving like you did through the soles of your feet, all that cosmic juice knowing that we are bigger than we are. Exhale the fingertips together softly, cupping the palms around the precious flower blossom and bowing the brow towards your heart. Feel that energy between your palms. And as we acknowledge that welcoming aspect to ourselves, we welcome, we bow to, we honor, we greet that dancing incandescent great spirit that lives within ourselves and others. We know the sameness of our breath and the sameness of our blood. We love the alchemy. We love the shifting of awareness. We're happy to be a part of this group. Happy to have you and have a wonderful whatever's next until I see you again. Namaste. There's so many things going on. <laughs> Good.